Hello. So I've just come off an interesting discussion thread, or a topical discussion thread. It basically showed um, a number of self-service machines, and it said, big block header, uh, never use self-service machines. And there are three points to this. Um, they kill jobs. They don't contribute to the payroll tax system. And they're not convenient for use. The one and three I agree with, and two uh, I simply don't know enough about. I don't know what the situation with that is, so I can't comment. But with one and two, um, that definitely struck a chord because um, I think it raises a lot of issues. Now, I'll just say from the outset, I don't like self-service machines. I don't find them convenient. Um, I avoid them when I can. And this is why. Um, I think the argument for them is a flawed one because the argument is it's more efficient, it saves time for the customer. Um, I would question that. If you're trying to buy something, okay, with a long queue on the traditional checkout, you may have to wait a few minutes and, you know, that might be a little bit, require a bit of patience if the you know, person in front of you is taking too long or whatever. Um, but at least you know where it's going. At least you know that, yeah, I'll wait and it'll be my turn. But self-service machines, um, in the UK, we're pretty strict about things like alcohol, kitchenware, um, lottery cards in terms of age. Fair enough. But with a self-service machine, you can't simply show your ID. You have to wait for an assistant to come and clear it. And it isn't just alcohol, lottery cards and kitchenware. It could be other things too. So... What I've often seen in my local, um, uh, certainly in Tesco's and in other places, is you'll have, let's say, 12 self-service machines, 10, 12, something like that. You'll maybe have one or two assistants, and it's absolutely no critique of them. They're trying their best. But they'll be standing there, and, you know, m several people at once will be having problems, so the machine hasn't registered this. The machine won't give me the receipt. The machine won't um, do X, Y, and Z. And in the case of, you know, with things that require ID, you can't just show your ID. You have to wait for an assistant to come and kind of clear that, which takes time. So actually, I would say they're far more time consuming in their current state than um, the traditional tills. So that just totally counters that argument, unless they're designed to be more um, effective or unless they employ more people to assist customers and then that would just defeat the purpose because they're meant to be replacing traditional cashiers in the first place, so it just seems counterproductive. Um, and that brings me to that point. Um, I'm not an economist, but I think common sense dictates if you have more machines in place of traditional cashiers, that means there'll be fewer, fewer jobs available for cashiers. Now, at present, my local test goes, the balance is still slightly more with the traditional cashiers. Let's say there's probably about, oh, I don't know, 10, 10 rows of traditional cashiers, and maybe then you have the self-service checkout area where they sometimes will encourage you to look, use in the pawn stores these days, they actually have a very irritating little voice automated thing whereby you scan your items. Uh, I've heard Santa Claus, I've heard Yoda from Star Wars, and I guess it's meant to be designed to be cute, but if I want to sound like an old Scrooge, um, it's just irritating. I want to make my purchase as smoothly as possible. I don't want to listen to baby English. I want to just get it done and get the receipt and that's it. And it's just distracting. Um, so I don't like self-service machines at all. I think that the arguments that are used to support them are flawed ones. And, you know, surely if the whole idea is to save time and reduce stress and they're doing the exact opposite, then they're clearly not working. They're not fit for a purpose, at least in their current form. I mean, I also think of... Right, I'm a, I'm a relatively young guy, I have decent eyesight, um, and I have no disabilities. Someone who may struggle with those issues, perhaps an older person, perhaps 
some with disabilities, how would they get around a self-service machine? You know, it would, I would imagine that would just increase. If it stresses me out, I can imagine what it would do for someone in that situation. So they're not fit for purpose in that regard, at least not in the current form. So that needs to be seriously looked at. They need to be more user-friendly. And um, because if you're in a situation where you're, you're having to require human assistance, then they're just not working. And I don't think it's good enough to say, oh, well, people are, you know, oh, it's simple, anyone can use them. Some people just have a natural tendency to, to click with technology, but many people don't. And what I would suggest is, okay, I can have an incompetent cashier. Maybe they're slow, maybe they're, they're making mistakes. But at least in that situation, I can just start again and explain or, you know, try and deal with the issue that way. Or if it really escalated, I could ask for the manager. You can't do that with the self-service machine. You know, you are relying on the, on the automated machine. And it's beyond your control. You can get as angry as you want. But that won't. It'll just continue being um, incompetent. I'm not suggesting that you get angry with cashiers, of course. I'm just saying that in that situation, you have the commu You know the the communication, the human avenue to go down. Um, the same applies for because this all relates. Actually, it's about over reliance on technology. The same applies to these. Um, virtual agents you get online or we've got a problem go to the virtual agent yet you type in a simple question and what does it do it just brings you around in circles oh uh, i'm sorry we do not understand the question even though i made it as simple as possible so i get very worked up by that i say um i've, I've even been knowing to say, are you a human being when I'm talking to an agent and they say, yes, we are. But to get so frustrated with the idea, oh, this is just another machine that's going to waste my time. One thing does concern me, um, two things actually. Firstly, I do think in some ways we're relying too much on technology in general. I'm not a Luddite. I understand that technology brings great benefits. We all use it. We all um, get advantages from it. I'm using technology right now, okay? So I'm under no illusions that technology can do great things. In terms of the internet, it can help to spread knowledge. It can keep us in contact with friends and family in other parts of the world. It can bring great uh, development for science and also for medicine and healthcare. Those are all good things. But I reject this idea that the answer must always lie in technology. It must always lie. Oh, let's just get more technology for it. I, I genuinely think that we are losing a human factor of direct human communication. And I don't think that's a good thing. I do think it can kill jobs because the more reliant on technology, obviously, there'll be fewer jobs for people unless it's in you know, the field of being technicians and electricians, but obviously not everyone can do that. So, you know, I, I can't see a situation where there's a mass line of technicians in the same way that there would be with um, cashiers. There may be some areas where there are some really unpleasant jobs that no one wants to do that are dangerous. We're using um, a robot or using technology is practical. And I'm open-minded for something like that to continue being explored. What I dislike is this idea, oh, technology always makes it better. It blatantly doesn't. I think people who are saying that are either just being a bit stubborn to what others are saying, what consumers are saying, or they've been lucky. They haven't personally experienced the sort of stress that myself and many other people have. I cannot tell you the amount of stress I have had with technology. And I don't think I'm a complete Luddite. I don't think I'm completely, um, my my technology vocabulary and if, or anything like that, it's totally limited. There's a lot I can do myself. But I have also encountered a lot of problems that I feel would be unnecessary if I just had a direct human communication. And actually, a lot of those problems have been solved when I finally had a human agent. Okay, I might have vented my frustration with that person, like, oh, this is, I've had to put up with this, blah, blah, blah. But 
they sorted the problem in a way that the technology didn't. So, yeah, and um, that's something to think about because this is going to become a more topical issue as as time goes on. Um, I really don't like the idea that 10 years from now, 20 years from now, there's going to be just no human medium whatsoever. It's all, everything's going to be robotic. Everything's going to be computerized. That isn't progress. That's, to me, positively dystopian. So, yes, let's use technology. Let's, let's benefit from it. Let's use it for its um, practical purposes. But let's be practical. Okay, and when consumers are clearly, it's not just me. I would suggest if you take a poll of people, most people would say they don't like self-service machines. That's just a guess. I, I don't know this, but that would be my gut instinct based on the sort of body language that I see from people on these things. Um, I think most people don't like them. So if they're going to be used, if this is going to take over the industry, and certainly I can imagine managers in big supermarkets would probably say, oh, well, I could save money by paying fewer staff. So it would be in their interest, but not in the interest of, you know, job creation, unless you're having job creation in the sector of fixing technology. I mean, I really, um, I can see a lot of issues with it. And I'm open-minded, I'm prepared to listen to the counter-arguments, but, you know, um, this is just my experience. I find... A lot of stress with these things, and I do not like them. You know, I uh, when I'm in a supermarket and it's um, it's busy, and the cashiers kind of suggest I go to the self service, I'll do it, but I don't like it um, because I find that it often takes either just as long or longer. So it's just. From that point of view, it's clearly not fit for the state purpose. Anyway, that's how I feel about it. Let me know your thoughts. Do you use self-service machines? Do you boycott them? I don't go that far, but I can understand why some people do. Because uh, there are a lot of associated problems. Uh, what do you find? Do you find that there is perhaps there's something that you personally find beneficial that you don't get with a uh, human cashier? Um but that's, that's my stance. I am definitely on the side of cynicism about this sort of development because I think that we are losing direct human communication. And I dislike, by the way, I'll just close with this, I dislike this idea that anyone who complains about technology is some sort of Luddite or they're against progress. Um, there are some very legitimate reasons to be concerned about what's developing. And I dislike, it's almost... This, I don't want to say peer pressure, but it's almost like this expectation, oh, just put up with it. This is the way things are going. It's inevitable. Almost like accepting that it's inevitable, so why why challenge it? Why it's going to happen anyway? Like, that's fine. Even though it has clearly associated problems. Like, nothing can be done. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I, I just hope that it, it's pretty obvious that the world is going to move in a direction of more and more technology. I think that is inevitable. Okay, so at least let's do it, but not with the sacrifice of human communication and not with, not with uh, the idea that it's the only option. Because that's actually going to make people lazy as well. It's not going to be good for human progress because it's going to make us like dogs with a master you know we're going to be overly reliant on it to the point where we we can't think as practical logical human beings there's a lot of things that i feel need to be raised so let me know your thoughts